Yes. Listen, Please, there's a pool if you do out. more Clark Hill stuff, which I hope you do, you yes. will always have outtakes. Oh, Rolling that whole time? I just can't. I'm just gonna. We can totally talk about oh that. God, I still don't even know what I played. <laughs> <laughs> I was like sitting in the wrong spot, so it'd be like. <laughs> All right, I'm back on track, I think. Sorry. <laughs> yep. All right. Hey guys, I'm Clark Hill. I'm uh, from a little tiny town in Florida called Stark, and uh, I'm up here working on getting out my new single out to everyone worldwide. What's the name of the new single? Oh, that would help, right? <laughs> help if you knew the name. <laughs> the name of the song. I'm tired of that name. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> my new single is called Perfect to Me. All right. And so it's from your forthcoming album, so can you talk about the album a little bit? Like yeah. Where you're at in the process with that? Yeah, so uh, we're working on finalizing an album that's pretty much been done for probably close to a year now. We're Right now we're calling it People Like Me. It's uh, it's kind of cool that people like me fell into place because it's part of the story, really. It's a line from one of the songs I wrote, and the goal with the album is to kind of give people an opportunity to see who I am as much as possible in the first album, which is obviously for someone as all over the place as I am is pretty hard. But uh, you know what? We got a, a good conglomeration of things that we feel like shows a little bit of different from as far as musical taste to to how I like stories. I'm really big into stories, and uh, you know that album. Something hopefully we'll get out this fall and give people a little bit of a chance to kind of know a little bit more about me than what they do now. Is there one song on the album that is kind of like the one you think is best in introduction of yourself to? Fans. Um, you know, actually, the more I've thought about it now that Perfect to Me is released, I think Perfect to Me might actually be that best song because I think at the center of what I am and who I am, even though I have those moments where I'm maybe not the best husband or the best father or the best man, period, uh, I am absolutely a hopeless romantic. And, you know, my marriage and my family is a very big part of who I am. And that's part of the reason why I'm even able to, to be gone all the time. As hard as it is to be gone from, you know, from them, that's who pushes me through as my wife every day. So I think, I think showing the the hopeless romantic side and it being very genuine I think is a good start to say you know hey this is the best example of who I really am um, now the more contradictory part of that story is that really there's no one song that's going to tell people who I am that's what's going to be I think it's what's going to be unique about my career as it goes on you know hopefully 15 20 you know 30 years later is that you're never going to really be able to peg who Clark Hill is you're just going to be able to see that there's all these different influences and parts of my life and the people's life around me that you know it's kind of an ever-changing every day's you know a new day and hopefully just a better day um now your the uso touring that you did can you talk a little bit about that because it's a really cool thing yeah yeah so i was able to do what's called armed forces entertainment back uh, at the end of the year in the fall and uh you know I tell people it's, it sounds like lip service or it sounds like the Sunday school answer as I always say it, but at the end of the day, I mean, it was the most humbling experience I've been able to do. I don't really know that I'll have more of a humbling experience. Um, already very early in my career, I've had the opportunity to play in front of, you know, opening for certain acts and then even doing some pretty big shows. You know, I've done a couple shows pushing 10,000 people before, you know, but those were cool. But at the end of the day, going and sitting in front of a thousand troops or 2000 troops or 500 troops. Uh, in the middle of a desert somewhere was was one that really brought me home especially who i want to be as a person uh to know that i was doing them really what they wanted i had no clue i'd have that type of effect on them either to really go in and as competitive as i am and as, as um, you know, almost as pride driven as i am to go in there with the mentality that i was going to make them forget where they were to accomplish that still is no matter how much you talk a big talk when you do achieve something so special it's like wow you know so that um, for the start of my work towards being more of a national artist and, and taking on, or I joke and call it taking on the world basically, but you are as an artist, you're, you're taking on a, a media format that is one of the most known formats there are in the world. I mean, country music spans everywhere. So that was really such a great start to it though, to go and see, okay, wow, I can really do this. I can make a difference. I can encourage people. Um, and not to mention, um, you know, it was fun. I mean, you're kidding. It's not every day that you get to do something like that to travel and, and to and to play for people doing that. All right. Now, besides the album coming out, what lies ahead for the rest of the year? Are you touring some more? And yeah, everything right now for the rest of the year is pretty much around radio. I mean, I hope to get back on tour. My my strong suit and my greatest love is touring for fans and, and playing playing shows. Uh, but for quite a while now, everything's been very business. So towards the end of the year, I hope to kind of 
get enough going on with the radio that we can we can kind of inch into the Nashville format, which is a little different than just being a local artist. You know, a year ago I was a local artist that achieved a lot of things nationally, uh, and then you add Armed Forces to it. Now you're literally talking about globally, and I achieved a lot. But at the end of the day, it's nothing compared to what I have to do in the next year, two years. So. The goal is to kind of get it there in a, in a format that hopefully is accepted by country radio and, and, and by media. And then uh, at that point is to get back out in front of the people, which is really, I mean, it's not to say radio, I'm a huge radio fan because sadly you have to be. And I've been very honest with that with program directors. It's like it's the way to get back out in front of fans. Uh, but luckily connecting with them one-on-one -on -one outside of radio and outside of Perfect To Me, the song, I think has made it really honest, but now I'm ready to get back what this is really about to me, which is one-on-one -on -one people. I mean, I don't really care about a, a chart or a, a music video. I mean, they're cool and they're fun, but at the end of the day, like I want to, I want to look somebody in their eyes and and know that I'm doing something for them. Um, and go ahead and then just tell everybody where they can find you on social media, mm -hmm. website, and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you can find me on all social media formats and. They're uh, under Clark Hill Music. If you can't find it just by searching Clark Hill, you can go directly to Clark Hill Music. Uh, and then ClarkHillMusic.com as well. Thank you. Thank you.